Hello everybody, it's Tonic TZW. It's Saturday morning still, and uh, I'm taking the time to try and get some voiceovers done on a few videos. Now, the Des Moines I unlocked on Sunday last week, so I've had it almost seven days. I've only played a handful of games in it, but I'm slowly getting to grips with it and steadily improving. And uh, I think this this match certainly shows a level of improvement. It's no record breaker, but it also goes to show that, um, yeah, everybody hates it. Because uh, I think before we departed dock to enter this game, my crew filled the hold with magnets because there is so much fire comes my way in this, I begin to think that I'm perhaps the only ship on the map. Now... We spawned on Sea Cap. There are some little islands to our left, and we're going to use those for cover. Now, there are three destroyers in the game, which means there's likely to be one on each cap. And as I say that, red team move into Sea Cap. But our destroyer is not even going to contest this. Maybe he isn't aware that he has a radar cruiser behind him. So all we need to do is get that guy spotted and in range, and, and we can take care of him. But um, he just sits outside the cap, and he spams torpedoes. I get spotted and drop, and then as I come around the corner, I get spotted again momentarily. So we have an idea of where that destroyer is. There we go. So our Summers is spamming torps, and I'm a little bit annoyed with them, and I do something here that I wouldn't normally do. And uh, I actually turn and I shoot at them myself. Because why he didn't even try to contest the cap and actually give Red Team an early advantage. But that shot there, in my frustration, obviously alerts the enemy that I am here. And I am staring straight down the map at a Yamato. So, although he is broadside to us, it's early days, he's unlikely to have used his damage control. So we are going to try and light him on fire. Our Summers does push towards the cap. I'm running my sonar to be aware of torpedoes. And I'm going to try and get this Yamato on fire and get some ticking damage done. Now to help the destroyer, I pop my radar. We do see the Friesland there who is running away. Now the fact that he's going away from us gives this Summers no reason not to go in and start contesting the cap. Because as long as that Summers is spotted, he is going to start running. Sorry, the Friesland is spotted. He is going to be running. Now I look across the map again. I've got another Des Moines and I've got an Orden out there as well. So we're going to see one player who knows how to play a Des Moines, or should I say I kind of know how to play a Des Moines, and we're going to see one player who doesn't. Um, I back out of it, I'm still spotted because there are ships within my detection range as I fired. Now there are very good firing arcs on the Des Moines and I can get across at the top and this moment in time it's all about trying to do as much hurt to the damage to the red team as possible whilst taking the cap. Now our Summers has moved onto the cap. He's popped his smoke. It looks like he's uh, spammed some more torpedoes out there. Now he really didn't need to pop that smoke because all he's done is alert that Friesland to the fact of exactly where he is on the map. And I push forward again to try and get more shots onto all these huge battleships that are at the back there. And I'm thinking I need to turn out, come round, and here comes the Friesland again. And he has obviously just run down the smoke of the Summers, popped his sonar, lit up the Summers, and between them, you know, they're just going to get rattled. But our Summers doesn't stand a chance. He goes out. We get shots onto the Friesland, but it is a moment too late. And the Friesland actually got a detonation on the Summers, I think, there. So he must have really punched him in the gut to get that one out. 
But now we are kind of in a bit of open water. We've pushed out just a little bit too far to be comfortable with, but we have got three ships in range. We've got a Yamato, we've got the Odin there, we know the Des Moines there, and there is another De uh, another Yamato, I was going to say, Tomato then. Um, so we know that one of them has used his damage control. They're backing out. Now I want to push into the cap but I don't want to push too hard forward. Now we do have a blue team destroyer there on the edge of B cap, but um, to be honest, I think he might have been better placed if he had swung into our cap before pushing B. But now that Yamato is low health, all these big battleships that spawned in the center of the map and completely ignored it and decided to come running to the back of C cap, they're all, you know, laying on fire, trying to claim themselves a kill. And uh, sadly, it is the actions of those guys, plus the actions of the red team, Des Moines, that are going to cost us this game. Because I am going to do everything I possibly can to do as much damage to as many ships as I can, um, to try and win us this game. But it is all going to be for nothing, which is sad to say. So that Yamato is in reverse, we know he's burned his damage control, we are going to just keep spamming some HE at him. We know he can overmatch us, so we're going to play with the throttle, stop, start, forward, back, and just try to um, put his shots off a little bit. But with so many ships out there able to see us and get shots on us, um, we are going to take damage without a doubt. Now the other Yamato there is hiding behind an island because he doesn't want to be um, set on fire by me. I am located which means I'm the closest target to somebody using twist and track or perceptive but I decide that I'm going to try and sail in and turn this cap. Now that Shimakaze back there who's just lost about half his health obviously has probably sailed straight through the middle of the map when those guys abandoned the center cap. And here we see the red team Des Moines. And we turn into each other. Now my battleships are busy taking care of that Shimikaze. And they're so far out of the way that they probably can't get any shots on this guy. And here we have what looks like me looking in a mirror. It's two Des Moines spamming HE at each other. Bowing, trying to light a fire. We both hit reverse to back out of it. And at the same time, we've both got an island behind us. But I think I'm going to get the better shots on here because he actually uses his damage control on his fire. Whereas I let mine burn a little bit because um, knowing how easily I can be set back on fire again, I don't want to pop that just yet. So my fire burns itself out. He has got another fire burning on him and his damage is ticking. He now starts to take some fire from the battleships at the back of the map and he starts his turn so he can angle into them. I switch to armor Pearson and I start to lob a few volleys of AP over there. But there's also a vanguard just come into view. The Odin has decided that he wants to chip in from the left side. So now I'm probably the focus fire of around three ships and I've had to back off that capture point. So blue team are at a huge disadvantage, a 500 point disadvantage to be frank. And um, personally I think it's because we gave up the centre of the map and our destroyer kind of advertised where he was going to be. So now we've got the Yamato, I'm about to touch this island and um, I know it's not a very good place to be in so I go full forward. I try to get some shots off at this Yamato hoping that the other battleships back there can also do some damage. But we go AP, you'll see the Yamato is focusing me, the Odin is focusing me, in fact I think everybody is focusing me. The red team still have a destroyer out there, which is keeping everybody spotted, I think. Um, and I have no doubt that I'm going to be the target of torpedoes. 
but Mr. Summers appears. We turn into him briefly just to kind of try to force him into launching his torpedoes at the wrong angle so we can turn away again. We pick up our confederate and using the rapid reload we soon dispatch him and pick up a high caliber on just under 150,000 damage. Now I'm still taking hits from everywhere. The Amato has kindly turned his attention to our big ships. And we're going to stay on HE because we know he's burned a damage control as well. And we're going to start spamming some more HE at him. Now he appears to have hit the brakes because those shots should have landed central. But they uh, landed near his bow. But he's ignoring those two battleships in front of me, and he's going on me again. Like I said, people really hate the Des Moines so far. I'm kind of enjoying playing it. Um, would I say it's the best legendary tier cruise at the moment? I, I think it's close to it. But there we see our two battleships pick up the Yamato and the Odin. So the guys that have been focusing me down for hours that I've been trying to take care of. Um, they get, I don't want to say sniped, because they weren't sniped. They were picked up by those two guys. So um, they, they get a, a kill each out of that. Um, so I've done, you know, the majority of the hard work. And uh, those two guys get to pick up an easy kill. Now the Vanguard is taking a lot of damage because one of the destroyers, when he saw that Shimikaze behind him, sorry, one of the battleships, when he saw the Shimikaze behind him, decided to run like his hair was on fire down the side of the map. But that's put him in a good position for this Vanguard. And although I can't see exactly what angle he's at, I'm going to start lobbing shells across the top because he might have one of his super heals left, but if we can get the burns running on him, um, we can try and get him off the map. Now, at this point, you'll notice that the red team Des Moines has disappeared out of view of everybody. So after getting into that little scrap with me, he has literally turned around and run away. Now, he knows that if all red team ships get killed, they lose. They're on above 900 points, so there's not far to the win. So he's kind of made the right decision, but he hasn't really had much involvement in the game from what I can see. But we do land fires, we do turn a cap, we've got ships on B cap as well, but it's way too late in the game to be um, thinking about that. And I'm just trying to find the range for that vanguard to drop the last few shells on him. We pick up the kill, that's our third. And then we look for the Des Moines. Now, obviously I am only as fast as he is. I can't hit him. The battleships are a lot slower than him. But even though they've got those big guns, I don't think they've got the range to hit him or the accuracy to hit him. And he is just going to keep running away from them as fast as he can. Now, if you look at blue team, we've got four ships left. You know... He is running, and believe it or not, but that Des Moines is going to pick up the win for Red Team, and he is going to pick up a solo warrior to add to it. So after all that fighting, all that incoming fire, 180,000 damage, a high caliber and a confederate, which I think shows that I was doing the work for Blue Team here, we are going to lose this game. Now I barely survive it with five and a half thousand hit points left, but there's nothing really that anybody can do to seal a win here. And as the clock ticks down through the final seconds, you're kind of looking back at what you did in the game and think, yeah, what could we we have done better? I don't think I could have done any better on this one. You know, given the position I was in and what I did. I think I did a pretty good job of it. But all I can do is practice, practice and practice some more and see if we can get some more out of the Des Moines. But there we go. We finished top of the board and we are what? We're six, seven hundred base XP clear 
of second place which was one of the destroyers um, we actually beat eight of the red team for base XP and we almost equal the winning ship on red team for base XP too so thanks for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel and catch me on live stream during the week and on weekends take care and goodbye